Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And I have seen requests recently for more data mining videos or things of that nature, where I basically take a game or I take a program or et cetera, et cetera, and basically rip it apart, try to figure out how it works and try to figure out how to mod it or manipulate it or crack it, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, for lack of a better term, make it do what I want it to do. So I found a game on Steam recently because I was very bored while waiting for this Unity import. Um, by the way, this is the Witcher 3 card game source code trying to import into Unity 3D on my computer. It's been six hours and it's still not done. So I'm gonna leave it overnight, make sure that it finishes, but Jesus Christ. Anyway, so that video should be coming soon of data mining the Witcher 3 card game in Unity 3D. But today's video is all about Late Night 1320. I found this game on Steam when I was really bored looking for games to play. And it caught my attention because it's a drag racing game. Usually that's how you get my attention. And I downloaded it. As usual, it's a Unity 3D game, which means if we open up DN Spy. We can just see the source code of the game by dragging and dropping the DLL files into the NSPY. Now, it's going to take a little bit longer than usual to open because, holy crap. Uh, I don't want you guys to know what I'm working on. <laughs> that that video is coming soon, too. That's, a, uh, that's another data mining video um, that maybe I'll do because those videos seem to be very popular on my channel. People like those. Anyway, so if we go in, we can obviously see all the level res and we can see the screen selector. Screen selector? That's interesting. I've never seen that before in a Unity uh, project. Uh, the boot config is here, plugins, resources, and managed. We're gonna go straight into the sauce because, you know, that's, that's how this stuff works. So we can see they're using TM Pro plugin. They are using your general Unity starter pack stuff, some special shader stuff, Studio K. So this is actually probably the studio that made the game. Demos. There's bullets and stuff in here. Yeah, they built this on top of something else. Okay, so it's not going to be done well. Energy bar toolkit. Oh god. So I'm gonna have to do like an infinite energy hack Probably, but that's fine racing gauges. That's pretty cool On GUI. Oh god. They're just doing it straight up that way. Got it Dented pixel. I like that name dented pixel Hmm Road sign stuff gets a specific section. All right All right, let's get into it so first, what I want to find is player stuff. Maybe user? Hmm. We'll search it. Our player input, language data, Player preferences. There it is. So it's in the RCC stuff. Got it. Ah, here we go. Everything is here. So what do we got? Can I do anything with this? No, there's nothing here. It's just converting. Okay. So they're doing a conversion from... That's... Okay, that's clever to keep from hackers and stuff like that, but like it's a single player game. What's the point in putting that effort into it? So bit converter, basically what they're doing is everything's going to be encrypted when it comes to game save stuff. So that's what that is. And then your array types are just here. That's interesting. So I wonder where things like a RCC recorder 
That's interesting. So I'm guessing it like records the races and plays it back. I have not yet done an actual gameplay of this game. I do not know yet if the game's actually any good. I would like to find stuff to do with uh um brain fart car parts and stuff from the screenshots I saw for this game. There is definitely what got my attention the most was there's definitely a good selection of custom car parts and that's going to be a ton ooh flame stuff okay this is going to get fun we're going to get flames and shit oh i am so down for this oh we're going to have fun with this i wish it was multiplayer i wonder if unit network it's got network capabilities but it's not multiplayer i know it's not maybe it's a future update then again they released this game in 2019 and there hasn't been an update since so <laughs> and this is definitely german vehicle is mine <laughs> so i think if there is any server connection, I'll be surprised, but I don't think there's any network capabilities in this game. It does not advertise as multiplayer. Actually, you know what? Let me just bring it up. So let's start with, so like, there we go. So as you can see, there's definitely a lot of parts customization in here and stuff. There's all the stuff just like the engines and legends. Uh, it's probably not as in-depth, but you all know how modding works. There is a possibility to make it as in-depth. So there's like durability, what it's worth, a level of parts. So it's a leveling system. I got it. What would be cool to do with that leveling system is... Even if you pay for the maxed out level of that part, maybe it was better to leave it at like stage three. But because maybe at stage three, it went better along with the exhaust. David with the big brain. You guys can't see me. I always do stuff with my hands, kind of like another YouTuber, like reactionary, reactionary faces. You guys can't see it because my house is a mess and I refuse to go on face cam. Anyway, once my desk is moved upstairs, that'll be different. But, look at how many... Heckin' Jesus. Anyway, my cat just went nuts. Actually, both of them went nuts. So, side tangent, because you know this is what I do on my channel. I have two cats. And a bunny, and a turtle, and a frog. We'll ignore the other one. This is about the cats. So, one cat is kind of old. Um, like nine or ten years old, I believe. The other one is like three or four years old. My girlfriend got two cats, so the one wouldn't be lonely during the day because she has detachment issues. Holy shit, who knew cats could have mental issues like that? Because when my girlfriend comes home, that cat doesn't shut up and does whatever she can to get in my girlfriend's lap. Meanwhile, the other one just goes and does whatever she wants around the house and just lays there all day miss lazy and then when you shake the food bag she just comes running so how many levels can you level up apart anyway so them being so far apart in age they get in like little hissy fights and clarabelle the older one will who doesn't have front claws or anything so she can't hurt daphne will just hiss really loudly suddenly when Clarabelle wants or when Daphne wants to play to tell her hey no get out of my face so we need a third cat and I don't want a third cat but we need a third cat that's like in the middle of them so Daphne is like two or three maybe four at the oldest Clarabelle's like nine or ten we need one who's like six or seven who's willing to play with one or both of them anyway Back on uh, subject here. So, ah! Levels are very boring looking. It's definitely Russian. Look at that license plate. That looks Russian. Uh, no, maybe not. I'm stereotyping. I know what 
Oh, I know what this is based off of. Okay, I have this Unity developer kit. I have this drag racing developer kit. This is awful. This is not going to be good. I have this somewhere. This image is ripped directly off of Google. I wonder if we could tear this down to a project. Huh. I like the junkyard aspect. It's very similar to a very old drag racing game I used to play. Uh, there used to be videos on my channel of it. It was called Drag Racing uh, Garage to Glory. I believe I can find it if I search real quick. Or Hot Rod Garage to Glory. This game very much reminds me of that. Yeah, I've done gameplay of it before as well. It's a very fun game. Eh, there I am. Eh. <laughs> I told you. Anyway, um, very cool game. In single, pl single player only, it had an issue where, yes, it let you manually stage your car, but if you drove past the, basically the sensors for if you're staged or not, if you drove past the stage sensors, it would just automatically assume that you decided to foul and leave the racetrack before the green light. It's a terrible bug and makes the game borderline unplayable. If that bug could somehow be fixed with like somebody with a DLL injection update that skips that, it'd be a fantastic game to play. But what I'm wondering is how much of this game might be multiplayerable. Oh, I got a sneeze. Oh no. So before I started recording, I decided to just grab the jar of jalapeno peppers. Pickled jalapeno, sorry. And a fork. I'll let you figure out what I did with those two items. But yeah, this game looks like a ton of fun. So let's see. Uh, experience a blast of the past of old school drag racing in its purest form. Find a variety of classic cars, trucks, and odd vehicles from the junkyard. And rescue them from their inevitable demise. Once you've restored and fixed your junker, take it to the back roads, compete against a variety of racers to earn respect, work your way up the chain, gain rep with local crowds, discover new drag spots to further your way up the chain, and continue upgrading your car. Beat at the drag strip for the ultimate test against the sponsored racers and become late night king. So there's a backstory. There's the junkyard stuff, there's street racers, and the chain. The chain is a mysterious group of street racers who bet high, risk high, and win high. Okay. Racing on the street, junkyard, we're getting pick parts at the junkyard. That was a big request of the Nitto 1320 days. I really wonder... <laughs> hmm... I really wonder. I doubt the developer of this game knows anything of the old Nitto games, but maybe. Purple Shadow Interactive. Let's check their Twitter out. <laughs> Sounds like a cool company name. <laughs> Small indie game dev team from the USA. We create all kinds of games, but we like racing the best. These guys... Haven't made a post on Twitter since 2019. They haven't made a post, pretty much, period. All right. Huh. Yeah, this was the only game they put out. Very cool game. I wish that there was more info on this. I bet I know what that notification's for. I'll look later. So that's pretty cool. Let's look and see if their Facebook has been active. I doubt it if their Twitter wasn't. <laughs> Gonzo. What about Purple Shadows YouTube? You know what? 
now that I see this, I think I've seen this channel before. Is their Patreon still active? That'll be surprising. No. I have a Patreon set up. I don't do anything with it, but I have one. Let's see what they said about a mobile variant. Access on Steam. We will be releasing a multitude of other to other game stores. According to Android and iOS. So, well, this is gameplay, a single video. Yep, I know exactly what they're using. That's cool. So they have a rev limiter, like a uh, rev launch. That's pretty sweet. I like this. This looks like it's really good. I know exactly what they're using. I have this exact developer uh, starter kit on this drive i want to say in this folder not in this folder this folder not in this folder oh that's something completely different that i'll go over someday as well i don't know where that info went but uh I have a Unity folder somewhere that's just full to the brim. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, here's some other projects. One of these in here is basically this. I just forget which one. You know, I bet we can... We'll test it. Oh, it's going to go full screen. Okay, it is. Oh, this is from somebody else. Okay, don't worry about this. That's a very old project. Oh, my God, that was with. I'll make a story on that another day. I know exactly what that was. That's not what I thought it was. Um, Car controller stuff. I have it somewhere on my computer or somewhere on a drive. I don't know where it is, though. But let's see if we can get this game running. I do want to find the list of parts and everything. I think it's going to actually be in this stuff. So I'm going to need Unity Asset Explorer, which I don't have at the moment. Oh, it went full screen. I don't like when it doesn't let me pick settings. Let me skip the intros. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you guys can see this right now. I'm assuming you can, but it just went full screen out of nowhere on me. There we go. Multiplayer. So there might be online. We're going ultra. Um, but I want windowed. Wow, they have a lot of listed uh, thingies. That's perfect. So we're going to go windowed. That's graphics, game, cool, audio, whatever. Controls, I have audio disabled. Throttle and brake is W and S. D and A is steering. That's weird. No, make it my arrow. Okay, arrow keys do do it. Uh, clutch is left shift. Shift up is E. Shift down and... This is weird controls, man. I do not like those controls. But we're just going to run with it. Exit. So what's the multiplayer? Multiplayer doesn't exist yet. So they were planning on it. So this was potentially going to be a very badass game. New repair system in place. New quick repair system at the bottom left of the race map is in place. Drag strip has been disabled temporarily to add new features. Finish the map and introduce race weekends. So this sounds like a very old version. <laughs> Load. What an interesting setup. I can definitely see that it's 
We're just going to skip. This isn't a gameplay video. This is just looking at it, figuring out if it's going to be fun to mod, if it's possible to mod. Buy new parts here. Let's see what the part shop looks like. The loading times in this game. They needed a loading screen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Paints. Decal kit. Two-step systems? What in the hell? Wow. There's a lot to this game. Engine blocks, different levels and stuff like that. This is pretty cool. You know what? I'm gonna troll the shit out of you guys with the YouTube video of this. Because I'm gonna call the video just Late Night 1320 and y'all gonna be fucking mad. <laughs> Oop, I was trying not to swear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the symbol for the junkyard. I feel like that could be something better. I want to reach out to these guys somehow. This looks like it definitely had potential. Why is why are the loading screens so long? Like give me a little animation or something. Okay, do not like seeing the cars at night. I would much prefer during the day. A gigantic van. I wonder if these are just... Not in bad shape. I don't like it sitting in the grass. Well, there's definitely... There's definitely an ability here for modding. I'm sure there's the ability to mod this game. Useless. Settings. Whoa, okay. That's interesting. So yeah, they were definitely going to support it eventually. It's here, it's just getting it done. And their network stuff just wasn't added yet. I would love to figure out... Like, car info. Let's see, customization. Whoa, okay. Repair, load stats. Front camber and rear camber. Wow, okay. That's an interesting way to do this. I would just do it as a... while statement with cases. That's interesting. But, you know, whatever. ABS, ESP, traction control. NOS, turbo, exhaust flame, rev limiter. There's definitely launch control in this game. I saw that. I want to find the list of parts. Fuel station, level loader. This game had promise. That is 100% the case here. What an interesting project that just doesn't seem like it was ever meant to be. It's really unfortunate. Camera stuff, chat controller, for once it was online. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it'd be possible to get a hold of these guys. Discord stuff built right in. Oh, that would be so sweet. Yo, just hook it up right with your community. That's awesome. Discord spectate so it would stream right to your discord. Oh my god. There's so much that this game had potential for You 
you all know that current that max value is gonna go up once I actually modify this game, right? Like that's gonna be like nine 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 or now nah, we're gonna set it to thirteen twenty because I'm funny like that. I would really like to find the parts and stuff like that. I really would. Car controller info. NOS clip. This could be so much fun to mess with. I want to figure out a way to hit these guys up. I really do. There is so much potential in this project. This is basically everything that I would kind of want as a start for a custom racing game. Okay. But like... Where's parts and stuff? It's got to be like an XML file that's in another file somewhere. General navigation, racing gauges. Data, demos. Race triggers, car junkyard. So it's probably here. I do have it in C-sharp, okay. Making sure, I was messing with some VB stuff. So... <laughs> They kind of do the decal and stuff the same way that I did it. Or like underglow colors on. That's funny. So car condition is basically random. It can't go above 90% though. So if you find a car that's 90%. Ninety-five percent. Yeah, it's literally car condition is just a random number generator. And by far my favorite random number generator ever. Wow. There is so much potential. I really want to mess with this game. But I want the source code of this game. Car customization, apply presets. Cannot paint a rusted car. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Car effects. I want I want underglow in this game. There's no underglow. Junkyard. Car player input. Junkyard manager. Interesting. I want parts. Part shop, but this is just the U, uh, the UI, I think. Generate items. Oh, okay. The way they did this is insane. I love it. I really need to know if I can break this down into a project. Or if I can contact these people. There's so much potential here. We know the starting money is 8,000. I bet you I can change that. Load profile, there it is. Car effects? Original max RPM is 8,000, okay. But load profile from game manager. So game manager has everything we want. Cool. Theme ID, interesting. I'm going to do this the old school way. Edit an IL. Where's the 8,000? It's in hexadecimal. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just going to set it to two. <laughs> Man, it's been so long since I've done IL. I 
want more money to start out with. All right, fine, I'll do it correctly. I want to make it random. So you can start with a minimum of 10,000. Have a max start of 25,000. That would be fun for speed running too, if you think about it, because then you would be able to farm for your starting cash for the best run possible. Oh, shoot. There we go. Cool. Well, we successfully done did a mod. So, yeah, there's potential in this game, and I really want to mess with it. I really, really do. Or get the source code to it and make it myself. I don't know. I, I kind of doubt that these guys would give up the source code to a game that's on Steam that people bought super easily. But I like how it's coded. I like how they did everything just straight up anyway. Definitely one thing I would want to do is randomize the lights for botters if this was an online multiplayer thing. You would definitely want to randomize those lights. Because if you do it as a set thing, then people are just going to be able to make bots and the car will launch instantly, perfectly, every single race. Or if they have access to the code like this, which I would protect the code personally. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, this game looks like it would be a ton of fun to mod. I'm excited to mess with this game. Free parts? I'm excited to actually do a gameplay of this. I think that'll be a cool series on the channel. Late Night 1320 doesn't seem like a terrible game. It really doesn't. We're going to delete this so I can save my uh, modified DLL here. And start out with different starter cash. But I am going to make sure to rename the original so I have it. There we go. There we go. So I saved it. This looks like it'll be a ton of fun to mess with. I can't wait to actually mess with this. I'm going to play it and at least get used to the controls. I want to see if I can also find that starter developer kit to make this, uh, you know, myself or whatever. But I'm also going to try to reach out to these guys and see if they do have any interest in further development of this game or maybe a partnership of some kind. So I'll talk to you guys later in a future video. Wish me luck on trying to contact these guys. This ended up being a half hour video that I did not expect to record. And I expected this to just be another crappy Steam game. And it wasn't. This is why it's kind of worth doing your research every time you look at a game. And admittedly why I pirated it first, and I'm kind of glad I did because it doesn't look like they're working on the game anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's it looks like it's honestly going to be fun to play with. Honestly, a fun game to play. So I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.